Morgan Oll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. This is going to be a 2020 Cimarron Windstar three-horse gooseneck with the oversized front tack. This is a used trailer. Um, we just got it in on trade, but really nice setup on this one. I really like how, you know, tack room size, you're getting plenty. Got air ride suspension, bigger wheels, bigger tires. I mean, this thing is loaded, ready to go down the road. But we'll start right up here on the front. So this one actually does have the V-nose on it. And if you come over from here, you can see what we mean by V-nose. You don't have that typical square nose. It's more of a V. So this helps cut wind better. You're going to get better fuel mileage on your vehicle towing it. You're going to have a better ride all overall just going down the road. So really nice to have this V-nose. You got your adjustable BMW coupler, safety chains, your battery breakaway, all that stuff. This trailer is equipped with a hydraulic jack. So that hydraulic jack right there, battery box right here. So we do have two batteries in here because um, we've got one for the hydraulic jack, one for the air ride, and they do run the lights as well. And then your battery cutoff switch is up here in the corner. So this folds up really nice, get it up out of the way. Um, you can lock it up if you wanted to, that way no one could turn on your lights if you're not near your trailer for a while, you could turn that battery cutoff switch off, shut that, lock it up, and that way no one's getting turning lights on as they're walking by the trailer and draining your batteries. So this hydraulic jack, I really like the equalizer systems for the fact that you can use them as a manual jack as well. Um, that comes in handy big time, you know, if you're in a rush, emergency situation, your battery's dead and you got to get to getting, you know, get to the vet or something, you are able to use this as a pump crank, um, get it up or down. The other really nice thing, when you plug this into a running truck, the truck is going to trickle charge those batteries in here. So every time you plug it in, your battery cutoff switch has to be in the on position. That will trickle charge those batteries, get them charged back up then you're not having to stick a battery charger on it or anything like that. So then over here in the corner, like I said earlier, this trailer is equipped with air ride suspension. So that is your air ride control center right there. So this is your compressor. You've got your raise the trailer, lower the trailer, on and off switch, and then your dump valve for the tank. So it is self-regulating. You don't have to mess with it or anything. Um, it's gonna put that air in those bags. And as you go over bumps and lose air, that compressor, as long as you have it in the on position, will kick itself back on, get air back in those bags and get them to where they need to be. Um, so really nice to have that system. It runs all by itself. All you gotta do is flip that on, hit the raise and it'll run. Um, so what air ride, it's gonna be, you're gonna have rubber torsion suspension and then you're gonna have the airbags on top of that. And just having that air ride is gonna alleviate, you know, pressure on your horse's joints. It's gonna alleviate you, your ride in the vehicle, in the tow vehicle, instead of, you know, bouncing back and forth all the time. It's gonna be a softer, smoother ride. Um, like I said, nicer on the horse's joints. So that helps out with getting them safe and sound to a show. But air ride suspension, two 7,000 pound axles on this one. Um, Dexter air ride is what they're called. So right here on the tack room, neat different setup on the tack. So right here, we've got our four tier saddle rack, which those are movable. So we could fit another one on there, put some blanket poles on there, stuff like that if you wanted to. And then you also have this tray down below. Tray is gonna come in handy for that bottom saddle. Flip those stirrups in there, get them out of the way. And that way you can close that door with ease and not have to worry about it. So having that access right there, I mean, you got a saddle on your hip, you are able to toss it right there. You're not having to step up and trip over something, anything like that. It is right there and accessible to you. Over on this other door, we've got our swing out blanket pole. So this swings out, makes it a lot easier to layer blankets on there. If you take one from the middle and trying to put it back on, it just makes, makes life a lot easier and things a lot smoother. And then we also have the brush box and then the window on the door as well. So coming up into this tack room, we've got the two doors open. So this one closes first and then that other one comes across. So you can open just the one if you don't want to get this one out. 
Um, if it's windy or anything, you can do just one door. But we've got the two steps going up into the tack room. Those steps come in handy big time, you know, being able to step up and in and not having to find a floorboard or even getting yourself a little step stool to get up in here. So here in the tack room, we've got our spare tire in here. We had room for an additional one on the front of the trailer as well. Right here, we've got a really long shelf with the clothes bar down below. So get your hat can up there, get your you know stuff that you need up there, and then have your show clothes hanging, your polo wraps, whatever you need hanging down there. Up in the gooseneck, so this the Vinos, it does take some storage space, but in exchange for the gas mileage savings that you end up getting, um, good compromise if you can. Nice little setup here. You got the light up there, LED, very bright, very nice to have in the dark. And then that is a plexiglass holder. So this is a wind star, so you've got the drop downs on the head side, and then you've got the plexiglass on the hip side. So if you're going somewhere, really nice to be able to keep the plexiglass in the trailer with you. And that way, if you do have to put, you know, plexi in it as you're going down the road or take it out, you have it with you and you're not having to, you know, so your horses aren't having to suffer by either it being too hot or too cold in there. Right here, we've got a full width boot box all the way across, plenty of storage in there, just extra storage for you. And then also doubles as a bench, put your, you know, your boots, your spurs, your shafts, all of that on. And then it, uh, well, it triples actually as a step up into the gooseneck too. So really nice to have there. We've got, well, we've got the bridle hooks right up here. Some bridle hooks as you walk in the door, you got your, you know, easy to access ones is what I would use it for. So the ones that I use most frequently, I would put right there. And then your light switch for the interior lights here. So up above, this one does have a, a vent in here. So, you know, down the road, if you wanted to take that out and put an AC in there, you do have the option for it with having the bracing already there. Over here in the corner, we've got a 35 gallon water tank. So bring your water from home. If you got a horse that has a hard time, you know, switching water when you're going to new places, you can bring some from home and slowly transition them over so you know they're still drinking. Or, you know, just to have with you in case you're going down the road, going on a long trip, something's to happen. If you're on the side of the road, you've got water for your animals for your dogs, for your horses, maybe for yourself. You know, it's just nice to have that with you and have that peace of mind having water. And then on the partition wall, we've got some more bridle hooks right next to that water tank there, top and bottom. So you've got dual there, plenty of space. And then this one does have the walkthrough door. So this walkthrough door goes into the horse area here, into that first stall. So that comes in handy if you're using this kind of, you know, you're going to shows and kind of hanging out at the trailer, you're able to come in that side door into the tack room instead of opening all the doors for the tack or something like that. Um, just variety and ease of use. So over here on the hip side of the trailer, those are our slats that we have. So the plexiglass, it does come out. That's where these little cutouts are. That's where you can pull the plexiglass out. If you are to take it out, make sure you put those ones together. So the bottom row together, top row together, we'll label them where you took them out from. It makes it so much easier when you go, and when you go back to put them back in, you know they're gonna line up how they should and line up perfectly. We've got the LED light up above. And then uh, once again, we've got two 7,000 pound Dexter Air Ride axles with their 19 and a half inch wheels. And those are the boar's, boar wheels as well. So very, very nice wheels on this. This one's set up to get you hauling down the road in comfort. So coming over here to the rear of the trailer, we've got our 50-50 door set up. Two LED lights up above, be able to see, you know, loading, unloading in the dark, be able, your horses to see too, because safety factor um, just helps out big time. And then what I really like about these Cimarron's, I don't know if you can see this light right here, but you got a tail light 
on the corner and on the top. So those both work as brakes, as blinkers. So you're being seen at night, you've got it top and side. So these back doors, they do have the plexiglass on them, but they do come out. Um, when we are done back here, I'll close one of them and so that way you can see what the back looks like with the doors closed. So stepping up here into the trailer, I've got the air ride suspension on right now in the raised position. So it does lift the box of the trailer up. Best way to do it if you're loading up for a show, turn the air ride on, let that pressure build in the compressor, but don't flip it to raise yet, leave it in the lower position. That way the box of the trailer is sitting lower, your horses can get in there easier, you can step up in there easier, just makes everything easier. And then as you're ready to hit the road, flip it to that raised position, it'll build those, those airbags and get you raised up and get on that suspension. So really nice to have when you're loading up, it does lower the box overall to have the air ride in the lower position. So in here, you've got three OptiBright LED lights. Once again, super bright, super nice to have in the dark. We've got three roof vents. So those roof vents, they push forward and they push backward. So if you push them forward, they're gonna help suck air in. Push them backward, it'll help suck air out. Get your maximum airflow going over the horse's backs and make sure they're staying cool. So these dividers, just your standard dividers, solid dividers. We can add pads to these. If this is something that's something you'd be looking for, we can definitely do that. So, and I know I touch on this a lot, but I absolutely love these Cimarron latches. Super easy to use. You got a wiggly horse, you got a young horse. Um, they're easier to get in, put them where they need to be, and just push that over. You're not having to deal with a pin or anything. They're locked in there and, you know, safely and get out of the way, pretty much. So, right here, we've got the butt strap that comes across. So it's kind of like a seatbelt material, I guess you could say. Uh, super sturdy, super strong. Put that up when you got that last horse in here. And that way, um, when you open these back doors, you're not having that last horse try and back out, still tied and step down and then rip their legs, something like that. So be able to keep them safe. And then if for some you know, stupid reason, somebody messes with a handle and one jiggles out while you're going down the road, opens a door, you've got that to hold your horse in and not back out of the trailer. So I'm gonna shut this door real quick. So all Cimarron doors are on latchbacks. So latchbacks, they come in handy big time when it's windy out or you're by yourself and you don't have a door holder, um, you are able to safely load and unload your horses without having to worry doors slamming shut on you. So this is what the doors look like closed up. from the rear and then on them like I said plexiglass inserts they can come out as well make sure you mark them when you take them out it just makes life a lot easier when you go to put them back in so that's what it looks like from the rear you see the spoiler up above um, so that's going to help cut air it's going to help that downdraft to push that um, air straight down instead of circling behind the trailer. So when you've got these air slats open on a dirt road in the middle of the summer, you're not getting dust sucked into the trailer. You're actually gonna have that air draft push down and push it back and out. And it helps cut wind as well. Um, we call it the go fast spoiler. It'll help you push you forward a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, super nice to have on these trailers. Um, they're just gonna come in handy for you and just well equipped. So coming over here to the head side of the trailer, we've got our three drop downs with the jail bars. So all three of these latch into place. So they're not gonna be flapping against the trailer while you're going down the road. You can drive with them open. And then nice thing about these, so you pop them up and you can actually take the jail bars out as well. You know, if you're stopping, if you're going on a long haul, you stop, you wanna offer horses water, give them some food, anything like that, you're able to do it from the exterior of the trailer instead of risking something going in from the back of the trailer. So I really like that feature, be able to get those up and down. Super easy to do is pop back into place. All the windows do have a sliding window as well. So if you're hauling in the winter and you just want a little bit of airflow to, you know, cool it down in there, not make it so steamy and stuff, you can open these up 
and dictate how much airflow you want going through this trailer. So very customizable when it comes to being able to do what you need to do for your horses. You got another LED light up above. And then this trailer also has um, additional button lights on that top rail. I don't know if you can see those. So you're gonna be seen at night. You're gonna be, you know, out there. People are gonna be able to see you and make sure you're staying safe. So this trailer, we are sitting 610 wide. We're sitting 71 tall. We got an on the floor length of 21 feet, three inches, and an empty weight of 4,810 pounds. So Cimarron Trailers, all aluminum trailer. You're getting the strongest upright post on the market, the strongest flooring on, a mar on the market with a center every four inches. And then you also get the standard half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof and that's got an r3 thermal value on it so you know more heat regulating warmer in the winter cooler in the summer comes in handy big time and then also dent and hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail so you know very well constructed trailers they already go down the road keep you and your horses safe um, so this is a used 2020 cimarron windstar three horse gooseneck stock number on it is going to be 5u 210-699. So Cimarron trailers, brand new trailers, um, come with a eight year structural warranty, three year hitch to bumper. Really nice warranties on these trailers. This one, it is used, but it's like new. I mean, they didn't use it very, very much, very often. It's in fantastic shape. So if you have questions on this trailer, any other trailers on our lot, um, if you've been on our website, you'll see that there's some drawings on there of different trailers. That means that we most likely have those on order and they're coming in. So give us a call if you have a question when we should be seeing one, we can look that up for you and let you know. Um, so if you have questions on that, anything at all, you can call or text my cell phone at 970-218-5996. You can call my desk phone at 303 684 3451 or you can shoot me an email at morgan m o r g a g a n dot noll k n o l l at transwest.com i look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and i hope you have a great day